Hey guys, on the screen you're going to see something that I've recently created. This is a recessed little button pocket with an LED in it. The original had a push button mounted here in the bottom. This one does not. But what I've done is I've replaced a commercial product made by Barrett Hill and it's a fine product. I have a couple of them that I've used in experiments, etc. Um, but I found a way using Arduino and the previous CMRI, JMRI thing to have a touch switch. So, and I will show you the commercial product that's available uh, for the Arduino. And I think I have a Barrett Hill. If I do, I will show you a picture. If not, I'll put a post of the website up there. But if you reach in and you just touch it, when you release it, it, cha it changes the turnout position. In this case, it went from on the main line into this, to the yard siding. I'll try to shoot a separate video and stick that up in the corner. But you literally are just touching the back of the plastic. And the minute you let go, it goes. I'm going to pan down a little bit. And maybe you can see the red LED on the back light up down in this area when I'm touching it. There it is. So when I release it, JMRI toggles the turnout. I'll show you how we put all this together and uh, where the availability of the products are because there's two different styles and um, I think you'll get something good out of it. Okay, so this is a standard ambient light sensor. Right here. Basically you cover that and a little light comes on and uh, it sends a low output signal on the output pin to Arduino. While stumbling around on Amazon, I found this. And this one does almost exactly the same thing. If you notice, the one thing I like about this is if you don't want to do soldering and you can tolerate the size a little bit, this is just a regular double-ended servo plug-in to plug it into the Arduino. The difference is when you touch it here or on the other side, where that one is, right there, it sends that signal over to the Arduino to, uh, to activate it. I have done it, a piece of 80,000 styrene with this glued to it, and it will, you can touch the styrene and it goes through it. It's a capacitance reading similar to what's on your phone or your tablet, and it works okay. But if you notice, when you put it on the back of this thing, it's the touch sensor is an okay size, but the rest of it's kind of hanging down. Let me get my hand off it. See, it's hanging down below and it can be a little tricky putting it in. Well, while in that search pattern, I'm going to set that there. I came across these. Now, here's the original. There's the new one compared to size. This one, you have to solder the um, plus and minus 5 volts and the signal output to them. You'll notice all the components are on the back on this one and on this one they're down here on the bottom. See everything else is clear. But if you take this guy and there's his little touch area, it even gives you a definition. If you just literally solder it on like that after you put the connectors on just get it slightly below the uh, LED position. It only sticks out maybe a 32nd of an inch. So just a little tip and over it goes. What I like best about this one, as compared to this one, this one has an LED that comes on when power is applied. Other than that, it doesn't have anything that tells you that the touch sensor is active. This one does not have a sensor, uh, a little LED to tell you power's applied, but that LED right there is the one I showed you earlier that comes on when the, you touch the sensor. They are both the same sensitivity, oddly enough, despite the fact that the touch sensor is much smaller on that one. 
than it is on this one. They don't seem to be dramatically different from each other. They both work great, and you could use either one of them. I have taken them to a piece of uh, clear glass, similar to what you can do with the uh, Barrett Hill. And by the way, I was not able to find my Barrett Hill touch toggle, so I will uh, put a slide in with a picture of theirs, and their website will be in the um, description below. It's a fine product. It works great. He's excellent at giving support. And if you don't want to take the time to solder this and do the Arduino code and all that, his product's perfect. It's plug and play. This is for those of you who want to invest your time, which is your money. You know, time is money. We know that from the business schools, right? At any rate, other than that, this thing works exactly the same in the Arduino code. I literally made no changes to uh, the CMRI uh, setup I did last on the previous video. I think it was three videos ago. I just plugged this guy in instead of that little push button switch over here. And um, it worked flawlessly. I hope you get something out of it. Uh, there will be links to the products in the description. I guess I should tell you these actually cost less than the push buttons did on Amazon. So I hope uh, hope you get something out of it. This was a fun find, and it's getting a lot of use around the shop here.